Hello, I'm Tom from cartfeed.com. Today's group test is all about rod holders. I've got seven very different models here in front of me. Before we begin, let's just preempt some of you who are likely to dive straight into the comments and tell us that you never see anything negative on these videos by showing you a flavor of this group test. Oh my God, it's heavy. Jars a little bit, it would have been a nice little touch on something this expensive. You're not gonna be fitting massive big pits in this. Feels like you could potentially bend a tip ring, but the padding is pretty limited. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's dive into an in-depth look at these seven different products. We'll go in order of ascending value, so we'll start with the cheapest full rod holder here on test. It's the JRC Defender with an RRP of $44.99. Now this is an old school looking rod holder, you can see that instantly. You've got a slight bulge for the reels, three reels can be housed in there, probably medium sized reels, probably not the largest of big pits. On the reverse side you've got two massive external pockets, probably the largest external pockets on test today, so plenty of room to stash your kit. Internally, that's where the traditional design cues continue. Instead of Velcro loops to fasten your rods, you've got tie backs, so you have to do a little bow to keep your rods secure. Now there is a metal spine for this, we've removed it for this video just to make it easier to maneuver, but that keeps it nice and rigid. But the padding is pretty limited. And in 2019, this looks a fairly old school design, but it is cheap, lightweight, and there's not much to go wrong. Next up is the TFG Survivor three rod holdall and it comes in at $59.99. And I have to say, this has been one of the surprise packages today. I really like this, lots of nice features. It's got a camo patterning to it, which will divide opinion, but it's a really good quality camo, which is quite difficult to get right. And the materials are very good indeed. Externally, there's a pocket that's designed for a landing net pole and there's a more generic pocket on the other side. Internally, there's lots of padding and nice divisions between each rod section. There's a massive space for big pit reels and there's also extra space for 50 mil butt rings. So lots of things have been thought about on this rod holder, which is fairly new from TFG. The zips are good quality, the materials are good quality too. There's no Velcro looping inside those individual partitions for the rods. So your rods will be subject to a little bit of movement. So you might have to be careful about that. Externally, there's also a lead pouch. Now, I, I love a lead pouch on a rod holder. I think it's a really simple but effective idea. So when you're taking those leads off lead clips when you're packing up and you often stuff them in your pockets and forget about them, just having a lead pouch on the outside of a rod holder is a really neat idea. And this has one of them. So thumbs up to TFG for that. What don't I like about it? Well, there's only one central grab handle, so getting it in, out, in and out of a car could be easier with grab handles at either end, but that's probably a minor gripe. And I'm not entirely sure why one of the external pockets is just a green color and not camo like the rest of it. It jars a little bit, but again, that's another minor gripe. For $59.99, I'd happily own this. Next up, we've got the SP3 Plus 2 from Solar with an RRP of $74.99. Now, the first things you notice about this are just how compact it is and also the quality of the material. That material has got a nice waxy feel to it, just looks like it will easily repel dirt and rain, and it looks like it's really hard wearing as well. Solar are known for not doing things by halves, and it shows instantly with this rod holder. It's called the 3 Plus 2 because it can house three rods internally and you can strap two more to the outsides. You can also use those external pockets for housing a landing net or even a compact brolly if you like. Internally, you've got really nice quality zips to open it up and then lots of nice padding inside. Each partition is separated by little tabs of Velcro and there are Velcro loops for your rods as well. What don't we like? Well, the zip isn't full length, so it doesn't quite go all the way to the top, which is pretty annoying because it feels like you could potentially bend a tip ring or damage the tip of a rod as you're trying to get one out here. If it just went a few inches more, it would make access a lot easier, but you'll get used to that. I'm sure the zips are certainly quality. That's not in doubt. And there isn't a lead pouch, which I've already said how much I like a lead pouch. This one doesn't have it, but for $74.99, it looks like this would last for years. With an RRP of just a five or more, this is the Codex Carp Locker HR3 padded rod holder and a unique design considering the ones we've got on test today because the zip zips along the back, along the spine of this rod holder, which is great for not getting your line caught in those zips, which can be an annoying problem with rod holders. And once you unzip this rod holder, each of the three compartments unzips 
independently. So you can get just one rod out without exposing the other two to the elements, which is a neat little design feature here. Externally, there's not a lot to say. There's only one single loop and pouch for a landing net, so not a great deal on the outside, which keeps this a compact rod holder and easy to maneuver and nice and lightweight. Internally, the padding is really good quality. Your rods aren't gonna get damaged in this, but the space for reels is fairly small, so you're not gonna be fitting massive big pits in this, and there's no extra space for 50 mil butt rings, nor is one of those beloved lead pouches on the outside. But for 79.99, this is a unique design. You won't get your line caught in the zips on this one, and each rod can be removed individually. We jump up quite a few quid now to 164.99 for the Cotswold Aquarius Trident, but it is the only product on test here that's made in Britain. There's a union flag on it to signify that, and the craftsmanship, as you'd expect, is top notch. On one side, you've got a big open pocket with a clipping strap that you can strap a brolly to, if you like, or a landing net and pole. On the other side, you've got an open topped pocket, again, nice and versatile, and a smaller zipped pocket for bank sticks and things like that. The main compartment opens with a dual zip system, so it's nice and easy to get access to. Once you've done that, you reveal lots of sumptuous padding inside, as you'd expect. The padding is beautiful. There's neat Velcro hooks to get your rods nice and secure. And the middle partition can be zipped up independently to keep that middle rod nice and safe. Just touching it, the padding is luxurious, as you'd expect, and the space for reels is truly huge. You can get the biggest of big pits in here. It really is an oversized section for reels, so no worry about reels getting damaged with this one. Externally, I'd love a lead pouch. I've said that before. It would have been a nice little touch on something this expensive. And talking of price, at 164.99, this is an investment of a rod holder, but it's sure to last. At the top of our price list is this absolute beast from Carp Spirit. It's their 12 foot three plus two model, and it retails for 174.99. As you can see from it, it is a, a big old unit. It's got two tortoise shell like real protectors at either end. It's called the three plus two. That means you can get three made up rods going one way and two made up rods going the other. So that's five made up rods just on one side. Flip open the other side and you can house four unmade up rods. So that's a total of nine rods in here. So everything you need can be carted around in this and that includes your terminal tackle because there's a pretty hefty pouch right in the middle of it as well, which would double as a tackle bag for most carp anglers, plenty of room in there. There's grab handles wherever you look so you can easily maneuver this in and out of a car. And as I've touched on these big tortoise shell protectors for your reels are nice and solid. As you open it up, you'll find luxurious padding with the Carp Spirit logo embossed on it and the best quality Velcro straps here on test today. Really nice feature, those. And as I say, it holds nine rods, so you can really pack everything you like into this. The downside, oh my God, it's heavy. It's really heavy. This is a barrow job, to be fair. It's got a nice padded handle, but you'll be loading this on and off a barrow unless you're a real strong man because this unloaded is heavy enough. So if you fully load it, it's gonna be a real backbreaker. But it's not designed for the mobile angler, it's designed for somebody who wants to take the kitchen sink. And at 174.99, it's not cheap, but it's certainly well made. And here's your bonus ball and our seventh and final item on test today and our cheapest at 42.99. This is the Witchwood System Select five rod quiver. Now being a quiver, it means it houses your rods externally. That means they're open to the elements and liable to get knocked about a little bit but this is a lightweight, maneuverable piece of luggage, and it's been well thought out by Witchwood. We're very impressed by their system select range, and this is no exception. The Velcro holdings for your rods are really nicely thought about. They've got a nice rubberized tab to get them open and closed really nicely. Reminds me a bit of those animal watch straps that were all the rage back in the 90s. Anyway, there's also a nice little panel that folds over to protect your vulnerable butt rings, which clips into place with a nice oversized buckle. On the reverse, you've got another buckle to house your landing net and pole and a, a little closed top pocket which you can stuff bank sticks into. Now one of the key selling features of a quiver is that large central compartment which is where most people stuff a brolly but most of them are open and open to the rain and to the elements. This one from Witchwood has got a nice little roll top that buckles shut, keeps the rain out of there. There's also a waterproof base and this is a, a really nicely well-made quiver. It's got nice 
sturdy material. Everything is nicely, nicely made and all the fixtures and fittings feel top quality. So for 42.99, this is a really good alternative to a full rod holder.